Want to be better at defense in Madden 23? Got I'm Mad Money Shot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the 10 tips, tricks, and cheats you need to know to become a better defensive player in Madden 23. No! Whether you're trying to get more turnovers, Here we go. Then you're left in the dust. whether you're trying to get more pressure and sacks, it was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. So if you want to see 10 things you should be doing every game for better defense, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In Madden 23, there's a new function where whatever zone you're using will be much more active and alert, essentially showing you where you should be covering. This is a great function for new users or for people that aren't comfortable using. One of the downsides, though, is that your opponent can see it on the offensive side of the football. So while it is helpful, it can also give away what defense you're running. All it takes is one look at that play art, and I immediately know that he's in a cover four quarters because that's the only defense that has zones like that. And I know that cover four quarters is beat by crossing routes, so I take the very easy check down for a very big catch and run. In this play, I see my opponent's in a curl flat. Curl flats are really only in cover three. So a lot of times, it's really easy to figure out what your opponent's in based off of your opponent's user graphic. So you really have to make a choice. If you're not good at usering, this might be something that you want to keep on because it can be helpful. But if you are good at usering and you do know what your responsibilities are, it's best to hide this by putting your user into a blitz. Blitz. Having your user on a blitz function won't show up on the offensive side, and even if it does, it doesn't give away any tells on what you're doing on the defensive side of the football. Next up, another new function in Madden 22 is the break tackle ability. This is something that randomly pops up throughout the game where essentially you have to start mashing the A button. Whoever mashes the A button the fastest usually wins on the offensive defensive side. The easy trick to be better at this is just basically tap the A button after every single tackle. If you do that, you'll get instant tackles in any situation because you're already tapping the A button before the A button prompt even pops up, giving you instant tackle animations regardless of who's getting tackled. Next up, if you're getting gassed on the ground and your opponent's having nothing but success running the ball against you, there's a solution, and that's to switch over to cover four. Whether it's cover four quarters or cover four match, this is one of the best defenses to use in the game. This is the very next play. See, I switch over from a cover one to that cover four. What makes cover four defense so special is you'll essentially have what's like a nine-man run commit because these safeties behind me, the strong safety and the free safety, will walk down and play the run every single time. As long as I don't guess pass, which is something I know a lot of people do on every single play, if you don't guess pass, you can see how they just basically run commit, which is going to make this one of the best run defenses in the game. And it works whether it's an inside run or an outside run. Next up, there's a new coaching adjustment in Man 23 called zone coverage. I did a full breakdown of all the coaching adjustments I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But it's always best to have this particular one set to match. On this next play here, you're going to see I'm going to choose cover four drop, which is definitely the worst of the two, unless you're you know trying to basically play a prevent defense. The better of the two is definitely going to be cover four match. Cover four match and cover three match, in my opinion, are always better. And you have the ability to turn any play into a matching principle concept. On this first play here, though, I did not have that adjustment set. And you're going to see the deficiencies in the coverage. Number one, the cornerback drops back into no man's land. There's nobody out here. But he seems to just want to make sure that nobody gets behind him, even though there's nothing back there. The end zone ends behind him. You can even see the underneath route is wide open right in front of the end zone as well. On the other side, I get a little bit luckier as my opponent rolls in this direction. And we do actually have success because the route that they are running with the back of the end zone. But if it was nope. in front of the DBs, it would have been a touchdown. So on the next play, I switch over to zone coverage match. I choose the exact same play the cover for a drop and watch the difference this time when it comes to the coverage i also do a hard flat which is something i probably should have done the first play but you can see number one this cornerback does not drop back nearly as far you can tell his responsibility went from not letting anything behind him to basically covering anything that goes over 10 yards in his area and this is a much better position you can see the inside receiver is locked up as well with his own zone coverage defender if we go back to the previous play like i said there was just too much spacing there was people wide open there were people covering nothing on the other side watch this outside corner back first of all he's in a pressing motion he's not actually going to press but he will follow this guy very tightly until he moves inside and then basically at that point he will let him go to the safety but you can see he's covered tight from the start every receiver on the field is really and then we jump in front of that with the hard flat that we put out and we're going the other way for an easy pick six Whenever EA adds a new function into the game, it's typically pretty overpowered. This is probably one of the biggest ones that I recommend you use every time you run zone coverage. Another really important coaching adjustment that I recommend is putting your zone drop flats on zero. I typically change the other zone drop flats throughout the game, but I pretty much never take my zone drop flats off zero. Number one, they do a much better job of covering underneath routes, as normal cover two settings won't drop down to zero at all. 
unless in this setting. But number two, if you have somebody who's constantly rolling out of the pocket, running around with their quarterback, maybe running around throwing the ball, or basically just taking off with a fast quarterback, the best way to contain players like this is by putting both sides on hard flats, and then the second the quarterback leaves the pocket in either direction, you just push in the R3 or the right click button, and the closest hard flat will go sprinting after the quarterback, typically shutting it down for a very easy stop. Another really important coaching adjustment that you should pretty much always be using, or at least when you're going the length of the field is going to be ball in the air defense if you set it to play ball this will get you a ton of takeaways compared to the default setting the default setting will get you more knockouts when it comes to receivers trying to catch the ball that's really what that's there for and i recommend using this probably in the red zone but if you want interceptions especially interceptions that can return for scores you're going to want to set this to the play ball mechanic because playing the ball will always make sure that the defender goes for the ball first usually resulting in a lot more takeaways and possessions are way more important than madden than knocking the ball out next up i'm going to go over one of the most overpowered functions when it comes to tackling in madden 23 and that's the dive tackle number one the dive tackle in madden 22 just didn't really seem to hit the mark a lot if you were good at it you could definitely close distances of like five or more yards but this year the targeting system is way better as you actually hit your target pretty much every single time resulting in a lot of tackles that you probably shouldn't be able to get tackles like this where you're behind the opponent with the ball and another added bonus is that when you do a dive tackle you never trigger the break tackle animation so the running back never has a second chance to get up and run with the ball next up when it comes to getting interceptions there's actually a timing required when it comes to catching the ball which wasn't always in the game it was something that ea's developers had to put in based off a glitch where you could basically hold the wire triangle button in previous versions and it would guarantee you get an interception every single time now that this function has changed the easiest way to perfectly time an interception every single time is simply by tapping the wire triangle button repeatedly to get more interceptions if you do this correctly it completely removes the opportunity to drop in interceptions based off of poor timing this is something that i've been doing for years and i probably get a perfect timing interception every single time i get an interception in this game and it's been that way for a very long time and for the record this is exactly what i do on offense as well resulting in some crazy catches that most people probably can't make especially when it comes to rack catching i find this is most important Next up, if you want to get more sacks and more pressure in Madden 23, all you really have to do is blitz your user, which is typically going to be a middle linebacker, though a lot of times people will use their safeties and stuff like that, and drop them down over pretty much any gap or any available lineman off the snap pre-snap i also want to make sure you guys pass every single time because that really helps but at the end of the day your job is either to occupy that blocker for a half a second before dropping into coverage or even sometimes you don't even have to touch the lineman they'll just react to you based on the fact that you're right in front of their face doing this correctly though will allow you to get into coverage quickly and will also get a free blitzer off the line a lot of times like on this next play here it's not always going to work it's not always going to get home but you're going to see this outside linebacker once again is going to come screaming off the edge giving pretty much instant pressure which is going to make it harder for your opponent's quarterback to do anything this is something you should be doing on just about every single play i mean there are opportunities where it can get you in trouble eventually your opponent will try to beat you with quick throws over the middle from where your user blitzing so you can't do this every single play but it's something that if you're trying to dial up a quick blitz this is going to be one of the most effective ways to do that so that's it. that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this maybe an offensive tips video in the same fashion make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that i'm going to have another video with tips popping up on the screen if you guys want to check that out i'd appreciate it and it would definitely help out your game and that's it thanks for watching man money shout out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below